Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode we beat the first three people of the Elite Four once again and now we're gonna take on Karen number four, the Dark Type Trainer. And with Pinsir up front and his powerful Stab X Scissor, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have no problems shredding through a large portion of her team at least. Weavile. Yeah, that one's gonna die pretty hard. Pretty hard. I don't think Weavile has what it takes to one hit KO a Pinsir, especially not with Ice Punch. Though I do believe that is the single most powerful attack Weavile can actually learn. Like a most powerful stab attack. Anyway, one single X Scissor is gonna do it in because Weavile is pretty much the epitome of the phrase glass cannon. And what is next? A Hunch Crow, of course, bringing a flying type to fight a bug type. Would be a pretty good idea, except I've got stuff like Steelix, which pretty much laughs in Hunch Crow's face. Unless it's got Heat Wave, which I don't think it does Drill Pack. Yeah, it most definitely does not have Heat Wave. I don't know, a Special, hun special Attacking Hunch Crow can be pretty viable. I mean, it gets Nasty Plot. Really, the only reason most people use Physical Hunch Crow is because Physical Hunch Crow gets Sucker Punch, which is pretty damn powerful. And he doesn't even go for that, he just keeps going for Drill Pack, which doesn't do a damn thing. And then Thunder Fang should take this thing out. Steelix claims another flying type. No flying type can beat my Steelix, except for maybe like a Charizard or something. But that's pushing my luck. Houndoom. Dark and fire type. This seems like a job for Feraligator. Or possibly Slowking, but that's a little risky with the dark type weakness, so Feraligator. Let's just hope I don't get burned. Oh, nasty plot. Sure, go and set up when you probably won't even get to use that plus two special attack boost. As one waterfall should take out Houndoom. I mean, Houndoom's not bulky in the slightest. So, I'm fully expecting this thing to drop dead. And it does. Quel surprise. That's French, you know. I speak many languages. A little bit, at least. I can pretty much only speak Dutch and English fluently. And then I speak a little bit of German, a little bit of French. A little bit more Spanish, because I did just, uh, I actually passed my entire first year as uh, in my, like, uh, Spanish studies, so yay me, that's pretty cool. Don't ask me to say stuff in Spanish, though, because I probably won't be able to. I don't know, I don't really know why. I didn't really put as much effort into it as I should have. I just kind of really lucked out on the exams and stuff. Uh, yeah, the curse, that's a really good idea to use on a spirit tomb, really. I think if curse for ghost types did what it does for all the other types, I think it would actually help a lot of ghost types out. I mean, Dusk Noir would love uh, the regular effects of curse. Pretty sure spirit tomb would as well. So, they're kind of getting screwed over, because does anyone ever really use the ghost version of Curse? I don't think so. Even though, all things considered, it could be helpful. I mean, it takes away a quarter of the opponent's HP each turn. That can be pretty sizable. Except using Curse is pretty much always a big suicide move, because it takes away half of your own HP, and leaves you wide open for like a counterattack. Anyway, this Umbreon actually survives an X-Scissor, that kind of bums me out, but a second one is going to do it in because Umbreon provides no credible threat in any way because its offensive presence is virtually non-existent. And that last Pokémon is Absol. I must say, not overly impressed with her lineup. I mean, the Spiritomb was pretty neat, but for the rest, it's still kind of meh. I mean, why couldn't they have given her, like, a Tyranitar or something? I mean, that's a pretty challenging Dark type to fight. Uh, whatever. Down goes Absol. And... Not gonna, quite gonna get a level 70 out of this, but that's four down, one to go, and it's Lance and his badass crew of dragons. And also a couple that aren't even dragons. Um, at least I'm glad he's not gonna have three freaking Dragonites anymore. At least they kinda give him a little bit of variety now. Then again, in Generation 2, there were like no Dragon types to make a full team out of, so I can kinda understand that, but at least 
in this game, they kind of spruced up his team a little with some dragons from Generation 3 and 4. To give him, like, a more dragony lineup. First, though, I gotta heal some people. Pretty much just heal everyone up fully. And put Feraligator up front. I don't know what he's going to lead with, but it's probably going to be weak to ice. So Feraligator is a good Pokemon to have up front. And you with your skills would actually reach me here. There's no need for words now. Even though I am pretty sure I'm officially the champion, because I beat him once already. But because, you know, we don't want the playable character to have to stay here all the time and face challenges, I guess he's still acting champion. Salam oh crap. Means I'm gonna get intimidated. Well, it's still a, a four times effective move. Shadow Claw. Is that the best he's got? No Dragon Claw or Outrage? Fine, I'll just Ice Fang, see what it does. Still probably a two hit KO. Yep, still a two hit KO, even with the Intimidate. Rest. What? Who the hell uses Rest on their Salamence? Why would he have a rest? I mean, sure, it fully heals him, but Salamence can learn Roost. Lumberry. Okay, that was kind of an unusual strategy, but Ice Fang is still a 2 hit KO. And even better, now he has nothing to protect him if I get a freeze. No freeze, though. Rest again? Oh, bloody hell. Well, at least he won't be waking up immediately this time, so... He just basically doomed himself. Unless he has Sleep Talk, but that would be a really weird Salamence moveset. I mean, has anyone ever used a Rest Talking Salamence? I highly doubt it. Because Salamence doesn't really have the bulk to pull that off. I mean, the... Oh, come on, Feraligator. Don't start that shit now. I mean, the Intimidate does help, but... Doesn't help against Special Attackers. Doesn't help if you switch out or if you boost your attack up. Anyway, Salamence goes down. Not really that big of a threat. I expected way... That thing to be way harder to deal with. Gyarados. Okay, time for one of my Pokemon with electric moves that are also weak to water. Magmortar, let's go! I am really hoping Magmortar is going to be faster than Gyarados. It's going to be dreadfully close. Come on, come on, fingers crossed. Yes, he's faster. Is Thunderbolt going to one hit KO, though? Magmortar's pretty powerful. It's quadruple effectiveness on Gyarados. But... Will it kill? Yes, it will! Awesome, Magmortar! Keep on a rockin'. And that's probably the extent of what Magmortar is gonna do in this fight, because he's not overly useful against the rest of Lance's team. Garchomp. Oh, crap, he has one of those. Luckily, though, I came prepared. Lugia, get in there. Because I also have one more new move on my team to debut, which you haven't seen yet, and it is on Lugia. Namely... Oh, sure, go and get a Source Dance off. I just hope you're gonna survive my attack. I got rid of Dragon Pulse, taught Lugia how to use Ice Beam. Because I definitely thought Ice Beam was gonna be way more helpful in dealing with Lance than Dragon Pulse is. Because virtually everything on his team has a quadruple weakness to Ice, and it still lives. Lugia, why are you so weak? Oh, full restore. Okay. Critical, freeze, that would really help me out because I'm not liking the prospect of having a plus two Garchomp go ape shit on my Lugia. Although I kinda wonder if Lugia can survive whatever he, he's gonna throw at me. Maybe Dragon Claw? Maybe Outrage? Well, we're about to find that. Outrage, oh boy. Plus two Garchomp Outrage, come on Lugia, tank that shit. Really hoping he's going to. Don't let me down, Lugia. Fingers crossed. Holy crap! Well... Uh, he is locked into Outrage now, and it's a good thing I have Steelix. Because no one else on my team can take it. I think even Steelix might struggle with this one. Maybe like a 3-hit KO? Nah, kinda. Just go for an Earthquake, should be enough to take out Garchomp. Maybe I should have taught Steelix how to use Ice Fang as well. I guess that would have come in handy. Although I probably still need Rock Smash for something at some point. 
Steelix level 70, way to go. 333 defense at level 70. That's more than the many Pokemon have at level 100. Now we have next is Charizard, so let's get Slowking in here. Really hoping he's not gonna go for another Shadow Claw, which I'm pretty sure he one hit KO'd Slowking with because he got a critical hit last time around. That kind of surprised me, but instead he goes for Air Slash this time. Oh bloody hell no. Please don't tell me he's gonna just flinch me to death. Charizard does not have Serene Grace. Then again, Lance has cheated before. I'm pretty sure he had a Dragonite that knows Barrier at some point. Which Dragonite shouldn't is not able to learn, so who knows, maybe he hacked the Serene Grace Charizard. Uh, can I... Oh, he's gonna full restore, okay then. Works for me. Just gotta wait it out, go for Surf again. And then maybe hope my Quick Claw is gonna activate next turn. That'd be pretty sweet. Aw, oh, damn it, no crit, I thought it was, because it definitely did a little bit more damage than last time. Got lucky on the roll, I guess. Come on, Slow King. Nice. No flinch. Awesome. Charizard goes down, and Slow King gets his revenge. So I'm pretty sure Charizard beat Slow King when I fought Lance the first time. Good experience, too. Altaria. It's kind of a crappy dragon, but I don't think he has a whole lot of. Well, actually, he does have a whole lot of choice. He does. I don't think he has a Flygon. He doesn't have Kingdra. Both of those are way better than Altaria is. I'm a little bummed out that Lugia has been defeated though, because Ice Beam was definitely going to come in handy. I guess now for Alligator and his Ice Fang are going to have to do this job. Bloody hell, I'm just... Oh, hell no. Now, now he's busting out the cheap shit. I'm not going to stand for this, you know. Uh, another full restore, that's three already. Although, actually, he used one on Garchomp, I think. He used one on Charizard. And he used one on Altaria, so that's three. Oh, well. One more Ice Fang, and he's gonna go down. And, of course, then I start missing freaking Hyper Beam. Why would you put Hyper Beam on an Altaria? It's not a particularly strong attacker. At least to give it, like, Dragon Pulse or Draco Meteor, then. Dragon Claw, maybe Outrage. Pretty sure it's Physical Attack and Special Attack are either the same or very close together. Anyway, one more Ice Fang, Altaria goes down. And then only one Pokémon remains, and that's that badass Dragonite. The OG Dragon. Okay, uh, for Alligator, can't take another hit. Lugia's down, how am I gonna deal with this? Just throw Steelix in there and hope he doesn't have a fire move. Alright, I thought this would never happen. What, you thought I wouldn't be able to beat you again? Crap, he has a fire move. Oh, I can kiss Steelix goodbye. He's not gonna survive that. Why couldn't it have been Fire Punch? At least Fire Punch, I would have stood a chance. Okay, uh, Lugia's down, Steelix is down. Who do I have left at this point? Pinsir, Magmortar, Feraligator, Slowking. Okay, Pinsir, you're up. You haven't done anything yet. Make it work. Pretty sure he's gonna outspeed me, though. Although, I don't really need to attack him. I need to heal up Lugia. Because I need some Ice Beams. Because I'm pretty sure Lugia outspeeds Dragonite by a sizable margin. So, if I can get Lugia in here, get some Ice Beams off. Fire Blast, yep. Bye-bye, Pinsir. His pincer does not stand up to special attacks particularly well. So, I don't... I'm pretty sure he's gonna go down here. Yep, not even a critical hit or anything. And Dragonite's special attack isn't even that high. I think it's like mid-80s, early 90s maybe. No way Lugia's in here. Time to kick some ass with Ice Beam. Maybe get a freeze off, that'd be pretty dandy. Two at KO, I'm betting. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, that is a Citrus Berry? Yeah, Citrus Berry. It's not gonna matter, though. Still within KO range. Safeguard. Instead of going for, like, Outrage or something, he goes for Safeguard. Just... Why? Why, Lance? Why would you go for Safeguard? And now you lose. What the hell, Lance? 
You threw it away. You fucked up, son. That ain't good. Feels happy that I beat his ass again. Honestly though, Lance, at this point you should just hang it up. Quit Pokemon training, you're obviously no good at it. Because you got, you got your ass kicked by a kid twice. And then here comes Mary again, and Professor Oak. With the same exact dialogue. What do you mean conquest of the league? I conquered the league already. I'm doing it for the second time, brand new, I was champion already. So, yeah, they didn't even bother changing the dialogue. That was kind of lame. Whatever, no interview for you, Mary. Radio's a dying medium anyway. Seriously, when have any of you listened to the radio for the last time? When you weren't in the car. Like, in the car, you don't have any other choice. But when were you last listening to the radio at home or something? Pretty sure... Never. Or at least ages ago. Anyway, here's Fur Alligator. Met at Newbark Town. Way, way back. And up next is Slowking. Met at Slowpoke Well, of course. Level 69. Ah, 69. You gotta throw that in there. Pinsir met at National Park. Also level 69. Lots of 69ing in this episode. And Lugia. Pretty sure also 69. Yes, at Whirl Islands. And that leaves Steelix and Magmortar, two of the MVPs. Because Steelix definitely proved his worth over the course of the LP. I mean, even though he was the... L except, apart from Lugia, he was the last Pokemon to join my team, he really pulled his weight. And Magmar was great as well, he was so OP when I just caught him and immediately taught him how to use Fire Blast. Aw, oh, and Lugia and Magmortar are getting Mike Wazowski'd. That's mean, Slowking and Lugia. Why would you do that to your friend? Anyway, next episode, the final episode, we're gonna battle the ultimate trainer. Bye-bye.